Mateus, what's up, buddy? Hello, Rich. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, I'm from Germany, uh, and I've almost read your book. Uh, but um, during, I say almost, because before I finished, uh, I read some of the red flags to my mom, mm. and uh, she took the book away from me. But uh, that's not the big problem. I'm 14. You're 14. Okay. So your mom took yes. your book away. Okay. Yes. But that's not a problem. I will find it online and then I will buy it. Then I can read it again. Uh, I mean, finish. Why did she uh, Why did she take the book away after you went through the red flag chapter with her? Uh, I mean, I told her that some of the red flags that uh, I've read in the book that uh, I've seen her um, do that as well. Ah, uh, I mean, that's why she took it away. She didn't like hearing yeah. about those being in her personally. Yes, yes, but uh, you know, I'm not married yet, obviously. But uh, um, you know, I would like to ask you uh, how I maybe could handle better the relationship with my mom because I have four years more to go. Yeah, um, what about your dad? What's the story with him? Um, she told me that he died in a car accident when before I was born, but uh, now I don't even believe her that. Huh. Okay. Um, and you're 14. Yes. All right. Um, look, you're going to have, it sounds to me like you're going to have some issues with your mom or that you're already having them right now. You say that you don't believe the story that she told you about how your dad died. Yeah, I mean, she she never really talks about it, but um, you know, um, she just says he died, and that's it. Do you think he's still alive? Mm, I don't know. I mean, could be. I I don't know it yet. What What were the red flags that upset your mom that you pointed to? You said that there were some in the red flag chapter. Do you recall which ones uh, they were? Um, I mean, there were a lot of them. Um, actually. So let me go through the 20 red flags. Daddy issues, feminists, unhappy and unlucky, competes with you, uh, has a lot of men from her past that she keeps around. She's bad with money. She's violent. She's jealous. She likes to party too much. Tattoos and piercings. Been with a lot of guys. Uh, single mom, well, that's her. Uh, seeking validation online. Is a sugar baby. Is a pathological liar. Has baby rabies. Throws hissy fits. It sounds like she throws hissy fits if she's taking your book away. Yeah, I mean, um, she, she, I don't know, but she goes out with a lot of guys, but um, I don't know more about that. Um, she is active online and, um, yeah, she, she, she likes, um, the, the way of the feminist way of, of thinking, okay. like many, many people in Germany. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Do you do you fight? Do you like to go to a dojo? Do you do anything? Boxing, kickboxing, Krav Maga, Jiu Jitsu? Um, I mean, I, I've um, I've been training football, but um, now you know, in 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 the last couple of years with co co Corona and everything, my my mm -hmm. mom is not allowing me anymore to go, she, because she says it's dangerous. When are you an adult in Germany? Is it sixteen or is it eighteen? It's eighteen. 18. So you're basically living under her roof for the next four years. You don't know if your dad's around, if she made up the story. You're going to look, my friend, you're going to have some difficulty over the next few years. You've got to find something on the outside as an outlet for you where you have strong masculine presence. You need a masculine mentor. Um, ideally, if you can join a dojo, learn boxing, learn karate, learn kickboxing, just get into a fighting sport, some kind of combat sport and spend time with an instructor, spend time with other guys there. Um, you need an outlet because you're in a position right now where she's completely, look, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, I've, uh, I've seen I've, I've seen it also in your book. You've been talking about the fighting. I've also tried that to talk about with, with my mom, but she doesn't allow me. The, the only thing that I really can do, do is, is online. Do you have a job? Uh, no, I don't have a job, but I'm doing pretty good online on my own. Uh, what do you mean online on your own? Do you, do you have a source of income? Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good actually. What do you I do have for some, income? I have some crypto. I have some crypto, mm -hmm. and I also am in 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 uh, in the business with some affiliates um, uh, through my through my online channels. But okay. uh, I don't have. Uh, it's nowhere my face or anything. I, I just market the products. 
Okay, and how much money do you make monthly? Um, I mean, it's it's not really um, always the same, but I would say like here in Germany, after taxes, um, you know, I get between maybe two and five thousand euros a month. Is it possible for you to move out on your own, or are you still too young to do that? No, with with the laws here, I'm not allowed actually to do that. Have you? I mean, somebody put this out in the the comments. Like, have you asked relatives about the status of your father just to confirm? Uh, I only have my mom. You don't have any her cousins, parents, no uncles. Her par her parents are dead, and she 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 was the only child. She's the only child. Her parents are dead. She said your father died in a car accident. And your your father didn't have any siblings. You don't have any aunts or uncles. You don't have any grandparents. On no, actually, um, from my father's side, nothing. I I just know about the grandparents from from my mother. But as I said, they are dead. Uh, you know, dude, you live in a bubble, like like this guy says over here. Like you live in this like you've you've got to find a way to interact with men Whether you know that's i i, I at a job more or less i accept it uh, that i have to go through it for more years but i'm just looking for maybe some advice how i can deal better with it uh, during these four years i'm i'm telling you what you need to do you need to find an outlet whether it's a part-time job outside of the house where you get to interact with other people um find something where men generally operate um let me think about some options for you something like even if it's physical labor dude like construction uh trades apprenticeships in any of those areas uh just trying anything that like gets you around other guys so that you get some exposure because kids like you my friend i've talked to lots of guys in their 20s 30s 40s and 50s that describe exactly your position right now at 14 and the longer you let her, you know yourself live under the control of her thumb the way that she's running you the harder it's going to be for you when you're an adult the sooner that you can get, you know put yourself in a position where you can be around men and masculinity and learn more you know that there's more to the world than just your mom's house and her rule of the law the better off you're going to be and I can't see why she would protest, you know, with you saying, hey, mom, you know, I just want to go and, you know, do something phys like get a gym membership and lift weights. Right. You know, go to a dojo and learn how to fight. Like there's got to be something that you can do that will let, let you get out of the house on your own doing what it is you want to do. I mean, she's out and about uh, partying or dating guys or whatever, you know, that you said that she was doing. You've got to have the opportunity to do these things for yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. okay Th thank you thank you for the advice okay man good luck with that i will look how i can do that thank you yeah. okay hey guys i really hope that you enjoyed that short clip if you did consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.